Hey, what's up? This is Bum Chic here, and I am recording on this, this, my lovely MacBook, because I am still messing around with this complicated camera and my new tripod and trying to figure out exactly how it works. But I don't have a lot of time, so I thought real quick, I'll just make the video, thank you camera for showing up, make the video really quick, and then be on my way. So, what's going on with me right now? Well, about three days ago, I got back from a nature camp, a nature English camp, and it was great. I had a great time. Um, there were some challenges, and I really got time to kind of be inside my own head and kind of see where I am and how I feel about things, especially how I feel about myself growing here in Spain and what I've been going through over the last nine months and how I feel about it, my life in general. It was really cool. So, what's an English camp? Well, basically, an English camp is a place where Spanish, or whoever lives in Spain, whoever, anyone who wants their children to improve their Spanish over the summer it's, wait, what? Okay, yeah, it's a place where people send their children to better their English. Um, our camp was located in Guijo de Avila. It's like a very small place, about 57 kilometers from Salamanca. Um, the site is actually really cool and unique because it's located on Rio de Tormes and there are a lot of cool historical sites all around. And so our campsite was basically right along the river. So there are tons of water activities to do such as kayaking, canoeing, sailing. Um, there's also archery and climbing and what else do we have? Sorry, I was so tired. Oh, what else do we have? I don't know. Anyway, so that kind of stuff. So kids come. They have a couple hours of English instruction with yours truly. And then they go and do activities. And our camp, we had 50 students. And a session lasts for a week. So we had four sessions for the month of July. We could not, I mean, on Saturdays we had 24 hours off. Children leave Saturday morning, and then they come, a new group comes Sunday. So for that period of time, we were free, which is very awesome. If you have ever worked in a camp or are thinking about a camp, having time off is like unheard of. So this camp was great. Um, there's a restaurant on the campsite where we took all of our meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and like I said, on Saturday, we would try to kind of get out and about, but um, <clears throat> we always had to get a ride because the closest Pueblo is Guijo, and it's only 42 people. So there was really nothing very much there. Um, beautiful place. I wish I had photos, but I was in such a hurry to pack my bag that I was like, no, I'm just going to go be out in nature. I don't want to carry any extra stuff. My bag was already full. So I didn't get anything extra, like my camera. So I don't have any really cool photos or anything, but I do have experiences. And to me, this is what made this camp amazing um, for the people. I had really good coworkers where we had an amazing time laughing and joking around. But the people that actually work at the campsite, they were great. Um, a lot of spiritual people in touch with nature. And so for me, coming from a place like Chicago and still like never really leaving like a big or city type of area my whole life, I've never really been thrown into a natural environment like that. And it was really cool. Um, lots of nights late nights with the guitar and just Spanish and beer and it was just conversations getting to know people and like experiencing these moments that you 
don't it seems like when you're in the city you don't really have time to really just appreciate people and like suck them in like soak them all up as well in, co in combination with nature so for me that was super super awesome and super healing and spiritual um so one of my favorite nights was a night where we were determined to watch the moon rise so we got in the truck headed up the hill to the Pueblo I mentioned earlier that only has 42 people. Stopped it, got out, laid out on the ground, and watched the stars. And we're waiting for the moon, waiting for the moon. The moon is like late as hell. I'm like, where the fuck is the moon? Because we're laying down, looking at the stars, we didn't see the moon that rose like over there. And it was beautiful, this orangey beautiful moon it was just great we just had all these great conversations it was awesome so that's my experience at the camp um the other reason why i'm making this video is because what you see here i know this may look like i styled my hair today and oh how beautiful but no i had installed marley twist right before i left real haphazardly like I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck because I have no time and I was not gonna be dealing with this up in the cabin that I was sharing with nine adults okay all right so the moment I got back to Madrid the moment I started undoing them I could not take them anymore I was tired of people telling me oh tus rastas oh these are not dreadlocks these are Marley twists. Okay? They were Marley's anyway. So I uh, took them out. And this is what you have. Now, this is day three. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm cracking myself up because ain't nobody got time for that. Do you want to know what's going on inside? Now, man, here it's fine, right? But when you get up in here, this is fine. Oh my god. The the amount of tangles, the amount of clumping and ugh, is so strong. It looks so good right now. I was like, fuck, this might be my hair forever. No. I'm gonna go and buy some lunch or buy some food to make some lunch and dinner. And then I'm gonna stay my happy ass right up in here and what am I doing? Oh, my hair sorry a bit hungover anyway so this was a quick update I think it was quick I don't know how quick it was quick update about what's going on with me about my camp experience and about my hair so listen peace